it's Kylie Vertucci Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia and I'm here with a new project today. Uh, we're doing a blog hop together today, the top 10 winners of my international highlights. Big congratulations to the top 10 and thank you to everyone who has voted for those top 10 as well. It's such an exciting uh, gallery every month. If you haven't seen our gallery, our international highlights, then I'll put a link below. Definitely go and check it out because we have uh, a gallery every month and the cards are always based on the theme of encouragement, which we all need these days. And so every month, a whole group of demonstrators from all around the world put together this gallery and it's highlighted on my blog where you can come and vote. So I'll put a link below for you to see what our last gallery was. I'm like, when was our last gallery? What month is it? Oh, that's right, September. <laughs> I can't keep up with everything. So in September, we had a gallery at the beginning of the month. We have one coming up very soon in October. It's usually the first week of the month. So look out for that one on our blog, kyliebatucci.com. So this is the card that we're going to be making together today. Woo! I'm so excited by this card. Now, there's some really cool elements about it. It looks simple and yet complicated when you go to do it. And you think, how do you do this? And in an easy way, because I'm not going to be able to cut these things straight. No way. Forget that. Um, but I love the fact that it's so clean and crisp and that you can use the embossing folder as well. I've used the beautiful Mosaic 3D embossing folder on my card. But today, the other card that I'm going to make with you, we're going to use the new bricks and mortar 3D card, um, 3D embossing folder. So let me show you what I have done and how quickly and easily you can put this card together. And just a few tips. Now, this is not a hard and fast rule. This is literally just what I came up with today because I'm like, oh, how am I going to make this card? And it kind of came together and I was like, oh, that was easier than I expected. I think I'm going to do a video about that because hopefully if it helped me, hopefully it helps someone else. So please let me know if it's something new that you're learning or an easier way to do something that you thought was difficult uh, because I'm all for making things easier. Give me easy, give me simple. So I'm going to jump in here. I've got my Stampin' Up! trimmer and that's going to help us to get some good cuts which makes life a lot easier in this card because as you see we want it all to come to this point here and yeah I'm going to just jump in and show you exactly what I've done so if you have my card templates you will know what I'm talking about that we're going to be using the poppy parade measurement so if you don't know what I'm talking about and you're like what do you mean poppy parade um, then just look at the links below on YouTube and you will see uh, all the links there on how to get your hands on these card templates. So just help you with measurements and make life a whole lot easier. Everyone that's got it is just like, oh my goodness, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I'm really happy. You're welcome. I'm glad it's helping. So we want Poppy Parade as our color of um, choice for the measurement. Okay, we're going to cut these colors. Now, where did I get my color inspiration from? You may be wondering. Well, it's because of the wonderful Bruno Batucci, uh, because he designed a header for our new demonstrator training program. And these are the colors that he took from the inspiration is actually from Coco K and the slides at Coco K. I know. Isn't that cool? There's inspiration everywhere. Whenever we feel like I'm a bit flat, I don't know what to do. Just go look online somewhere and see what grabs your inspiration and color. So we have uh, the pistachio. We have daffodil delight, the seaside spray, which I don't think I've used in a very long time or at all. But how perfect seaside spray, Coco K goes together. Calypso coral and night of navy. And I, I absolutely love this combo. And I love that we have two sort of subtle colors that still make this fun and makes it pop. Normally I don't use sort of subtle colors. So let me show you what I've done uh, to make this really simple and easy. Now, 
Part of me was thinking, oh, people might not cope with this because it does um, sort of use a little bit extra cardstock than what you could if you lined them up. However, I also worked out for the sake of maybe a couple of cents, like literally dollars and cents, like just a couple of cents savings, it's worth doing it the way that I'm doing it because it's so quick and easy. And these days, time is money. So I think it's more important to save your time than save the money, save the cardstock. Because <laughs> I know part of me was feeling like, oh, I'm wasting a bit. But look, I'm sure as we go along, we might find ways to still save some. But what I'll show you, so you can see the first cut here, and this is the first one that you're going to do. What we need to do is sort of get a, a top, this top section here. And you can see it's sort of a cut from one angle to, to there. So that's gonna be the top piece. So I'll actually do it this way. I think it will be easier. So that's, that's the top piece. And that's probably the hardest piece of all of them actually, is the beginning bit. So you've done that. If you're a bit stuck, you can always just use your cardstock as a guide. Now, then what I do, and this is the revolutionary part of it, is I'm gonna use this piece as a guide. So I know exactly where I want this to join at this spot here. And I wanna do a little bit of a diagonal here, not too deep of a diagonal, but I do want it to sort of go up a bit in this. And literally, you can see, I'm literally eyeballing it. There's, there's all guesswork here. There's no proper measurements. It's all just winging it, which I love. I love winging it. <laughs> don't give me measurements if I don't need them. <laughs> just make it easy for me. So then we do the next one and we've only got two left. So I can sort of gauge where I want the next one to be. There we go. And then we have our next one, which is the Calypso Coral. And with the Calypso Coral, I want it to, this is the only one that I sort of had to measure up. I mean, you don't need those two to be there, it really, as long as it's the layer just before, that's the, the main element. This is a little bit bigger than it should be, so I'm just gonna make sure that this is 10 centimeters. It feels a little bit bigger than it should be. No, it seems all right. Anyway, we will work it out. So then I'm gonna grab this. Now, what I wanna do, because I've got, you can see the card here, because I've got this sentiment, I don't want it to be too far over when I cut, cut it. So in fact, even just a little bit less is quite good at, on this last strip. So that you've got enough room for this sentiment here. Uh, yeah, because I sort of, I, I realized I got it squeezed in, but it was pretty tight to get it in. So the next one I thought, oh, I'm going to make sure that I don't go too far along. So that is the only eyeballing you're going to be doing. And if you really wanted to, to make sure that you've got, you've got plenty of room, you could even go straight to the point here, uh, like right to the edge or just a little bit over. Because I like that little overlap there. And then I'll show you exactly what I mean when I layer it onto the Knight of Navy. So you can see here now it's given me quite a good amount of space here at the base for my sentiment to be placed. And I'm not having to stress about if I'm gonna have enough room. So that's the only little tip. And then what we're going to do is literally glue it all together. So as you can see, I am using a lot of cardstock underneath, like each layer, there's a fair bit of cardstock, but I just found this is just so easy and so simple that it's worth the extra bits that you're not sort of cutting off. And I hope that makes sense, but yeah, just, just do it this way. And actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if the opposite happens with this paper that I've chopped already. Do we get more out of this? I've never thought about this, but I think it would actually create probably another card here. You just need, you would just need some Knight of Navy underneath and then you'd be set. You'd have some layers there. So it does make two, <laughs> which is, I didn't actually think about that, but it would actually make, make more. 
I'd have to do it the opposite direction. So start with the blue, end with the pistachio probably. Look at me, I'm like, how does this work? I'm sure I'll work that out. It, the best time to do it is when I'm on a camera filming. Of course it is, Kylie. <laughs> of course that's the best time to try something. Oh, I'm getting somewhere. Oh, I did it. Check that out, people. So there you go. So you get two out of each cut and then you're not having to make... I love it when I discover these things while I'm filming. <laughs> so all you need is just your piece of Night of Navy, which is going to be your Mel um, Poppy Parade size if you have my card templates. And then you have another amazing one there. The best! And it, it's finishing with the Night of Navy, so you can still use sentiment, but it'll just be the other way on that side. So there you go. Learn something new every day. So let's glue this together. Let's have some fun. I like to use my Tombow um, because I find I have a little bit of wiggle room. And I'm going to put it straight onto the piece. I was doing it on the base part, but then I was really stressed out that I was going over the part that I shouldn't. That was a lot of glue then. Do not do what I just did. So I bet you it's going to squeeze out everywhere now. Oh no, we might be safe. I'm not going to push down too hard on that because there's a lot of glue there. We'll do a, lo a little bit softer this time, Kylie. Yes, very nice. It takes a little while to get that pressure right. Uh, have we got the right one? Yes. So you just got to make sure it's lining up in this corner here. There we go. Excellent. I need to lift it up so I can see it properly. And if you really need to, like I've noticed with this, I think my um, seaside spray was just a little bit shorter. So if you have a little strip sort of left over, then you can just do some chopping afterwards to make sure it's all neat and tidy and happy. Is that the right one? Yes. So that's the only other thing is making sure that you're gluing down the right side. So just check first. No harm. Making sure that it's all lined up and it's the right way around before you start gluing. And is this the right one? Yes. And then what we're going to do is do some embossing and you could use any embossing folder you like with this. Or you may even decide, like it was a big decision for me because I even loved it plain. But yeah, it's totally up to you what your taste is if you want to keep it plain totally leave it plain but I did really like the um, the look that it gave when um, I'll just bring some more light in there when I embossed it and I loved that the sentiment wasn't embossed and it, and it's sort of popping out it just gave that extra element to it what you could do probably if you if you decide not to emboss it could be that you're using the middle section and putting another piece there um, yeah, but it's totally up to you, whatever you like. So you would get your big shot and just to save time, I've already used my bricks and mortar 3D embossing folder and voila, oh, looks beautiful, doesn't it? I really like it with the, the bricks. It's just added a whole extra element to this and it sort of suits the sentiment too. Like you've got this, it's sort of, yeah, you're on a journey out in the wilderness somewhere and you've got this <laughs> so all we need to do now is make our little sentiment now the sentiment you may be wondering where did that come from Kylie Batucci I know let me show you exactly where it came from it came from genuine gems and this is an awesome awesome set of sentiments I feel like I either rediscovered it or found it for the first time tonight because I've looked at this and I'm like, there's so many cool sentiments in this. Like, I'm sorry I haven't been in touch. There's no good card for this. You know, we have a lot of difficult things. And I know this must be hard for you. We know friends that are going through tough times. What a beautiful way to say I'm thinking of you. I know that there's no easy way for me to say I'm thinking of you or... 
I'm sorry I haven't been in touch. What a great thing to do. I just didn't know what to say. How special. They're really, really beautiful um, saying. So sorry. And I've used this, you've got this. And it's just so amazing. Even this one here, I told the universe to send some awesome your way. <laughs> it's a really good sentiment. So look out for that one. And all I'm going to do, I've just got a strip of Night of Navy. And I'm, again, I'm eyeballing because, you know, why not? Because <laughs> it's how I roll. <laughs> it's what Kylie does. We do, however, want to use, there it is there, use the embossing buddy because it really does help with avoiding static. And I've got another bone folder over here, I think. I don't want to use my really dirty one. Oh, good, here it is. Although you guys love it when I use my dirty one. I should really do it because she's like, so Kylie. <laughs> Such a grot. <laughs> keeping it real, people, keeping it real. No time for faking it around here. <laughs> so then I'll just stamp that. And I'm, again, thank you for grid paper. Because I'm literally just like, and I don't even know if I've got it the right way. Actually, yes, I do. Naughty Kylie. I'm so lazy. I haven't put my stickers on. And I really need to now that they actually cling wonderfully. I just got out of practice. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I have to put my stickers on. Maybe I've got to tell myself, you've got this, Kylie. Put those stickers on. It was a little bit faint, so I've just done it again. Just to really get all of that powder on there. So I've used Versamark, then the powder, the white embossing powder. And now I've got my hot, hot heat gun. So they're the three things you need for white embossing. But of course, there's all sorts of other colors that you can do in embossing. There's basic black and there's silver and gold. There's so many beautiful embossing powders. Uh, but my number one go-to is definitely the white. I absolutely love using white emboss, especially if I want it to really pop. Look at this, Pum! it's like, here I am, I'm popping out. So then what I decided to do was line up, and this is again a typical Kylie move. I probably could do it a little bit more, you know, technical if I wanted to. And that was to do it like this. I'll show you what I thought of. <laughs> I ended up using my snips. <laughs> I'm like, eh, whatever, I'll use my snips. <laughs> but you could line it up like that, and then you sort of know where, like when you line up, your sentiment because you need to have it in the right place then you sort of know where it needs to go this actually might work let's do it like this so let me bring this over so i've lined it up and i've made sure that it's given me enough space and it's flat against the edge on this side see so against there so i know where i want it to cut i know i want it to cut along here so i better line that up yes and I better line that up again because this this blue needs to line up see that layer underneath the night of navy blue who calls it blue and then once I've done that I'm going to remove my card and then do some chopping and hopefully this works <laughs> we're about to find out so then we go down here and ah I think it's worked. There you go. So we're just going to use um, some dimensionals there. Yeah, that's totally the best way to do it. Feeling like I'm kicking goals tonight. <laughs> I've got my craft mojo on tonight. <laughs> and I can say that now because I've got nothing left to do other than stick down. So that can't be a disaster, can it? No. <laughs> So I'll use those dimensionals, stick that down. If you want them a little bit higher up, you can use the, the strips because they're a little bit higher. And then I just want to line up with the edge and with the side. I want to go along there and along there. Yep, that's got it. Yay! Ah, I love it. 
ship it. And then we're going to use our, see here's my beautiful Bow Easy. This is my camera, um, not Bow Easy, my camera um, bone folder. And here's my off camera bone folder. <laughs> I'm so naughty. I smooshed it with ink. It doesn't go onto the card, but it just looks terrible. <laughs> Shocking. What am I going to do with me? <laughs> we wouldn't have it any other way. Now, if we <laughs> wanted to, we could actually raise that, and that would be really nice too. But for the sake of time and, you know, you're busy people. you got to go make cards now. you got to go make this card now. <laughs> we'll just do some Tombow. But, yes, totally... If you want to, you can use um, dimensionals on that. I love this card. I love the colours. Thank you, Bruno Batucci. If you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please keep in mind that you literally only have one week left, seven days left to join our training program. So if you want to join our training program, now is the time. I'll put the link below because we want you to come and join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. So even though it's white, I know this is a bit random. I've used the thick whisper white because thick is the best if you're doing it as a base. Um, but I still want to do an insert. Even though it's it doesn't actually need one, I just think it looks so delicious. Is that a word to use? But I just love it when it opens up and it's all pretty on the inside. And I've even got a piece here. I don't think it's that one, though. Here it is. I've got a piece here, a little strip of the Calypso Coral that I'm going to add on. And that's just going to go with the look of the card on the front. And I'll put that to the edge there. So you've got to love the multi-purpose glue because I just move it around till it's in the right place and that ah, is our beautiful card that we've made together isn't that exciting so i hope that's inspired you to do a little bit of fun technique with our cardstock and of course you can come up with any color you want and the best way to get some really cool ideas for color is to look at our designer series paper the Stampin' Up! Designer Series paper because there are some beautiful colour combinations that Stampin' Up! have already used. They already work. You don't have to hurt your brain. We don't want to hurt our little brains. They're already busy enough. Um, so just look at the Designer Series paper and you could totally case the colours that Stampin' Up! have used. But I totally love it. Love it. Chiop it. <laughs> Even though it's not designer series paper, we still want to love it, chop it. So thank you so much for coming by today. Here's our gorgeous cards that we just made. Yay! <laughs> uh, thank you for being here and thank you for checking out our blog hop today. If you have any other questions, please pop them below. I'll check out uh, YouTube and look at the comments. Or you can email us. You can check us out on Facebook. We're all over the place. Instagram. Uh, and if you aren't a subscriber to our channel, please subscribe. We would love you to even click on the little bell as well. Because that will mean you'll get notifications when we put up a new video. And yeah. I have a few this week, which is exciting. I've still got a live video to go this week. And I did a live video last night on YouTube. So, yeah, it's a busy week ahead, this one. And um, I think that's it. If you live in Australia, we'd love to look after you. And if you are looking for a demonstrator, we're happy to look after you as well, uh, particularly if you need catalogs, anything like that. We're, we're here to help you. And we look after our customers really well they get lots of rewards and gifts and um, loyalty program we have a facebook group as well so it's a lot of fun and we have a lot of inspiration on that group and we'd love to see you there so thanks for coming today everyone and please pop comments below we love hearing from you thanks everyone speak to you soon bye